I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today I have a recipe to share with you that was inspired by my friend Heather at the Needy Homesteader channel. Last week she put up a video making a stuffed carnival squash and it looked so good I had to make it and I had to put my own spin on it. So today we're going to make our own version of Heather's stuffed carnival squash. Let's go see how I did this. To get started on these stuffed harvest squash or harvest stuffed squash or whatever you'd like to call them, we have to first cook the squash. So I I went ahead and I got a couple of these carnival squash like my friend Heather over at the Needy Homesteader because this entire recipe is inspired by a dish that she made last week. Um, these are nice round squash and they have these scallops to them. They're different. They're lobed squash. I've never had these. Um, so what they remind me of is like on the inside a butternut squash or a pumpkin on the outside They kind of remind me of a butternut squash. No, uh, acorn squash they smell, like they smell like pumpkin. So I'm going to stuff these with an interesting mixture I'm going to deviate a little from what Heather did and I'm going to kind of make my own stuffing To go along with these but we're going to cook these off a little bit first so all we want to do is we want to salt and pepper. Oh, show them the trick you did first. Oh, okay. Um, these are wonky, and because they're lobed, they are not going to sit straight. So what I did was I just took a very small slice off of the bottom of each one, just so it would sit flat and these would not roll around on the baking sheet, and they're going to be nice and sturdy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to salt and pepper these very simply because we're going to put all of our flavor into our stuffing, but we do want these to have a little flavor while they're cooking off on their own. So salt and pepper to taste. And then I'm just going to take a little veggie oil. This is some safflower. No, this is sunflower oil. There you go. And that's it. I have my oven going at 400 degrees and we're going to go ahead and pop these in and then we're going to start making our stuffing so that when these are ready we can just stuff them with that stuffing mixture and we're going to pop them back in the oven for like 10 minutes and everything's going to be great. So I'll be back and we'll show you what goes into the stuffing. All right, we're going to do a little ingredient overview for the stuffing and then we're going to move over to the stove and we're going to start cooking it off. I have this is one package of stuffing cubes because I haven't made any yet and these were convenient. So this is about eight cups of seasoned turkey stuffing cubes. I'm going to use two cups plus probably another cup of chicken stock. That's all I have um, in here is two cups though. I'm going to use about eight ounces of sliced cremini mushrooms. I have about a half a cup of dried cranberries here that are steeping in some very hot water. I'm going to also add this water when I put it into the stuffing mixture. And over here we have all of our veggies and our aromatics. I've got a cup of chopped celery, one medium onion that is chopped fine, one apple that is diced, and one medium sized sweet potato that I have diced up in a fairly small dice. And then the protein that's going in here is some of this fresco sweet apple chicken sausage. Al fresco sweet Italian style chicken sausage. Um, this one is a sweet apple flavor. This is the Italian flavor. I didn't realize I got two separate ones. But in any case, uh, I have four of them in here. I just cut them lengthwise in half and cut each half in half and I dice them up into cubes. That made sense to me. We're going to cook all of this into a stuffing for our squash. I'm going to season it up with some poultry seasoning, some salt and some pepper, and that is it. I'll meet you over at the stove and we'll get started on this. All right, I have um, a little bit of butter, two tablespoons of butter in here, and a tablespoon of oil. That prevents the butter from scorching. And I went ahead and I stuck my sausage in and just gave it a bit of a turn. Now we don't need to really fry that, so to speak, because it's already cooked. You could eat that just out of hand. I'm going to add all of my vegetables in here. There goes the mushrooms. You can add more if you like, and um, but I don't want to end up having too much stuffing. I know I'm going to have more stuffing than I need, 
But I'm going to add all of my veggies in here at one time. And I'm just going to give this a good turn to coat in the butter and the oil. And I'm going to let these kind of hang out. I'm going to put the lid on this. And then I'm going to let this kind of steam saute for about five to seven minutes. And then I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to let the water evaporate out of the pan before we continue to add the rest of our ingredients. So when these are all ready to go and we move forward, I'll come back and I'll show you what happens next. All right, this is ready to move on. Now my everything is nice and we've got a nice brown fond on the bottom of the pan and the mushrooms have softened up. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my cranberries and their liquid because this is gonna help get everything moving. And now I'm gonna sprinkle in a healthy teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Mmm, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. mm. And if you uh, like to know my recipe for poultry seasoning, then I will link a video down below. Now in goes our broth for our stock and our stuffing cubes, and we're going to give this a good turn. Now, what I just want you to do is I want you to just walk away from this for about five minutes, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go stuff our squash, and you'll get to see those in just a minute, and when the time comes to do that, we'll be back and we'll move forward, and we're almost done. All right, the stuffing is ready. Our squash is all ready. Isn't it beautiful? And now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to stuff it. You always want to say that, right? Mm. Just stuff it. And I'm just going to take my big, big scoop here. And I'm going to stuff these. And we're probably not each going to eat one of these, but they'll be nice left over. And there's a little bit of stuffing left over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of take my wooden spoon in here and kind of tap, tap, tap everything. I'm just going to pop these back into the oven for about 10 minutes just so these get nice and kind of crunchy on the outside. I still have my oven on around 400 degrees. I don't know if I said that before. In we go. We'll bring it back when it's time to eat. Alrighty, these are ready to come out. They've been in the oven for about 10 minutes. Yum. Alright. We're going to let these sit and then we're going to cut one open so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. I love it when it gets this crispity crunchity on the top. So we'll be back and we will fix you a plate of these harvest stuffed squash because I know you're hungry. We'll be back in a minute. There's our stuffed, harvest stuffed carnival squash. And I gotta tell you, this stuffing is really delicious. And I just know this is gonna be wonderful. We're gonna go ahead and cut open, cut this in half so you can see what it looks like. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the steak knife and cut into this if it'll let me here. That stem end is gonna be mm -hmm. a little bit of a sticky wicket. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. And it's hot and steamy, and the squash is completely edible down in there, of course. <clears throat> the squash is really creamy on the bottom, and um, it's a lovely complement to the stuffing. And this is like an all-in-one meal, because you've got everything in here. Your meat, your veggie, and it's stuffed into a veggie, so you don't need to do anything more than this for your dinner. Oh, really, really good. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It's like Thanksgiving dinner all in one mm -hmm. plate. Mm. The carnival squash tastes very similar to pumpkin, in my opinion. Kind of like a cross between pumpkin and a butternut. It's really, really good. You're going to love it. I hope you give this harvest stuffed squash a try. Remember, you don't have to use carnival squash. You can use an acorn squash. 
You can use whatever you like. But just give this a try, because you're going to love it. I think this would be an excellent use of Thanksgiving leftovers. If you had leftover stuffing, leftover sweet potato, leftover turkey meat, mm -hmm. chop it all up, mix it together, throw in an egg, mm -hmm. stuff it in a squash, throw it in the oven. I think it would be great. Yes, it would. Mm. So I hope you try this, and I hope you love it. Thank you to Heather for the inspiration. We're going to enjoy this for dinner tonight. Until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating.